Hello friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and today I'm taking you to one of my favorite spots, Marshall's Antique Warehouse. I love going to Marshall's around the holidays because everything is decorated so cute. You will get so many ideas of how to decorate for the holidays or how to decorate just any day of the week with cute little vignettes of vintage items. Would you like to tag along? Then let's get started. I thought this Hamilton Beach Mixer was a beauty and it had three mixing bowls with it. Look at the beautiful afghans. Ooh, and the quilt. This one right there with the pink and the greens. I just thought that one was so pretty. I think that little vanity tray is darling. I didn't remember until I was reviewing my footage, but my mom actually had that painting when I was a little girl. I love dishes in a box or a drawer. Isn't that a cute idea? I thought this pair of chairs was magnificent. There's actually a hole in the floor on the second floor and you can see right down to the first level. I fell in love with these two vintage cake carriers. 
Aren't they beautiful? And yes, some of these baskets were Longa Burgers. These were the cutest ghost made out of bowling pins. Before I get into my haul today, I got some friend mail from Dot Likes Red. This woman has spoiled me rotten, and I just feel so honored that she would do this for me. So I have three items that I've already placed in my decor, and I'll take you around and show you those, but I haven't used these yet. Aren't these the cutest little mushrooms? They're on stems with wire in, so I can use them in a display or in a little... Um, what do I want to say, flower arrangement or something like that. And I thought I could use them at Christmas or even for Valentine's. Wouldn't they be darling? So let me take you around and show you the other items that Dot gave me. I will link her channel below in my description box. And I do hope if you haven't checked her out that you will. Her channel is so much fun and she just makes the best videos. You'll have a great time. She loves to thrift and she likes a lot of the same things that I do. So let me take you around and show you the other three items. Here's another item that Dot sent me. Look at this darling little deer. It's flocked, it's tiny, and I just think it's the cutest. So I thought the green would help show off the little deer there. Dot also sent me this darling flocked deer bank. Look how cute. I love it. I saw it in one of her videos and I just can't believe it's mine. How darling is it? The last item is this little set of marbles. Look how cute they are. I decided they would look cute in my little strainer there with this little vignette in my kitchen. And guess what? The yellow one glows. So I'm going to turn out the lights and show you with my black light. Okay, here we go. Look how darling. A couple of these actually glow. But that one right there is the one that she mentioned, the one with the little lines in it. I think that's the one. Or did you mean this one, Dot? Or do several of them glow? But look how cool. Are you ready to see what I got? First, I'm going to show you what I found at Marshall's Antique Warehouse. Oh my goodness, I thought this was so adorable and I was so disappointed I didn't film it, but I think it was because there was a huge crowd around that area where I found it and I just wanted to pick it up and get out of there. <laughs> but it's a little sugar and I will put up on the screen what it says on the bottom because I can't see it, um, but there's the little sugar or creamer. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I guess this would be a sugar and there's a the little lid 
and uh, here's how big it is. I just thought that this color was perfect for fall. Isn't it beautiful? And I will show you at the end where I'm going to put it. Now, I got a couple things at a garage sale or Goodwill. I, I'm not really sure where I got these items. I found them in a bag and I must have put them away in case there was a Halloween collab where we had to thrift some Halloween stuff. So I'm going to guess that this was from a Goodwill. I'm pretty sure I remember picking it up at a Goodwill and it was only 79 cents, although it has a dollar price tag on the bottom. But I remember it was 79 cents and it's a little votive for a candle. You could put a little candle in there. And I thought, well, I'm going to use this for my Halloween decor. And then I picked this up somewhere. I don't remember where. It's just a little leaf and it's either a salt or a pepper shaker. And there was only one and I don't remember how much I paid for that, but I thought that would be cute on my tiered tray for fall. I missed that boat. And then this one was marked 99 cents. I have one like this in my little half bathroom I showed you in my video, 99 cents. Pretty sure that was from a Goodwill. And um, you could use it as a gourd or as a jack-o'-lantern. And then this was my favorite thing of the extra items. My favorite thing was this, but Besides that, I love this little mug I got. Isn't it cute? And this was from a Goodwill and it's marked 54 cents. So I thought that was a really good deal. Is that the same? Yeah, it's the same face on both sides. So I'll show you where I put that as well. I realized that I forgot two of my Halloween items that I wanted to show you. This was a Goodwill find for 99 cents. And I thought it would be darling on my front door on the outside. Look at the detail on this. Isn't it just so cute? I love the little flower here and the material that they chose for everything. And this is made to look hand stitched. It might be hand stitched. I don't know. And then this item I got in Fort Wayne when we were visiting there at, I believe, the treasure house. And it's just a little black cat pin, and it was one dollar. And, and now I have another top commenter. These just pop up randomly on my channel whenever somebody has watched enough of my videos, and they give me hearts, and then I give them hearts. <laughs> no, no, it's when they comment, and then I give them hearts back. I never know who's going to pop up, but my top commenter today is Donna Postalweight. And I hope I've pronounced your name correctly, Donna. She is super sweet, so sweet that the last comment she, the last video she commented on, she left a comment and it was very brief. And then she left another comment and said she was in a hurry and she didn't get to comment like she wanted to and so she watched my video again and made a longer comment and I just thought that was super sweet. So thanks Donna for all your support of my channel and for being my top commenter. Here's where I decided to put my jack-o'-lantern gourd. This is on the top shelf of my shelves in the kitchen. If you didn't see how I did those then I'll link my video of my home tour. And here's the other side of that first shelf, and that's where I put the little mug. I just love it there. I love the little pop of orange, the little pop of Halloween. I added this little ghost and pumpkin to my beverage cart. And again, I can link that whole thing. It's another video if you didn't see all this in my tiered tray. I have two spots that I thought it looked cute. I thought I could either add it here with my black kitty flocked card and the 31, or I thought it looked cute leaned up against my flower frog with my little cupcake pick. So you can vote in the comments below which spot you like better. Actually, I found a third spot that I like too for the little black cat pin here by the clock. He plays off the white of the clock and the orange of the leaf and really pops with his black so let me know which of the three spots do you like best. Next, we'll take a quick little stop to see on my hutch where I put my two new items. 
I put the little either salt or pepper shaker there and tucked it in. And then over here is where I put my little sugar bowl. If you didn't see the video where I showed my hutch, I'll link that below so you can catch up on that video. Here's where I put my little scarecrow on my front door. So I think he looks really cute there and gives a little life to my front door. He actually looks cute on the back of my door too. So I have this scarecrow I could put on the front door. So you can vote which way you like him better as well. I hope you enjoyed Marshall's Antique Warehouse. Let me know in the comments below if you like me to take you there because I love going there and it changes up all the time. They're always putting new stuff out and I love getting ideas just how they do their displays. So let me know yes or no in the comments below. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.